Rahim. I'm going to start presentation. Myself, Kashif Hassan. I'm going to start presentation on third generation of computer. Here is the content. Okay, third generation of computer. Computer generations. The generation in computer terminology is change in technology a computer was being used. Initially, the generation term was used to distinguish or differentiate between varying hardware technologies. But nowadays, generation includes both hardware and software, which together make up an entire computer system. Computer generation. These are generation of computer from 1 to 5th generation. History. Uh, the period of third generation was from 1965 to 71. The computers of third generation use integrated circuits in place of transistors. So in third generation, uh, integrated circuits were used in place of transistors. A single integrated circuit has many transistors, registers, and cap capacitors along with the associated circuitry. The integrated circuits were invented by Jack Kilby. This development made computers smaller in size, reliable and efficient. In this generation, remote processing, time sharing, multi-programming operation system was used. High level languages. Porton 2, 2IV, COBOL, Pascal, Basic, Algol were used during this generation. Okay, in this slide, I'm going to discuss integrated circuit. First, integrated circuit was proposed by G.W.A. Dummer in 1952. So, so he is an inventor of integrated circuit. First, functional integrated circuits was demonstrated and patented by Jack Hilby in 1959. Robert Nyko also patented the first integrated circuit in the year 1959. Integrated circuit. Here is a picture of integrated circuit, IC circuit. Third generation. third generation I'm going to start these were the first computers where user interacted using keyboards and monitor which interfaced with an operating system a significant leap up from the punch card and print outs this enabled these machines to run several applications at once using a central program which functioned to monitor memory. So this generation enabled us to run many applications at the same time. As a result of these advances which again made machines cheaper and smaller, a new mass market of user emerged during the 60s. Now, I'm going to discuss features of the third generation computer. So, let's see what are the features of third generation computer. Number one, integrated circuit was used in third generation, more reliable in comparison to previous two generations. Uh, third generation computers are smaller in size. Uh, generated less heat, they are faster, they were faster, lesser maintenance, they were costly, AC required, consumed lesser electricity, and supported high level language. 
these are some features of third generation computers now i'm going to discuss what are the characteristics of third generation computer so in this slide i'm going to discuss characteristics number 1 integrated circuit was used instead of transistor in the third generation computer third generation computers were smaller in size and cheaper as compared to the second generation computers number 3 they were faster and more more reliable okay high level languages was developed in third generation computer Okay, number five, magnetic core and solid state as main storage. So in this generation, magnetic core and solid states as main storage. They were able to reduce computational time and had low maintenance cost. So they had low maintenance cost. Number seven, input-output devices became more sophisticated. So here is a characteristic of. third generation computer some computers of this generation so here is the name of some computer of this generation IBM 360 series uh, Honeywell 6000 series PDP personal data processors okay IBM 370 by 168 and TDC 316 so these are the name of computers of this generation now i'm going to discuss the advantages of this generation there is some advantages uh, number one is they are smaller in size as compared to previous generation they are more reliable uh, they use less energy and uh, they produce less heat as compared to the previous two generation of computer that are first generation and second generation okay so they use less heat as compared to they produce less heat okay number 4 number 5 better speed they provide as compared to previous generation and could calculate data in nanosecond so they could calculate data in nanosecond okay use fan for heat discharge to prevent damage so in this generation fan was developed maintenance cost was low because hardware failure in rare is rare okay totally general purpose could be used for high level language so this generation was used for high level languages high storage capacity than the previous generations computer they are versatile to an extent they uh, they are less expensive more accurate than previous and use mouse and keyboard for input okay i'm going to discuss some disadvantages of presentation okay uh, number one disadvantages was air conditioner air conditioning was required tactile sensitivity is decreased uh, the highly sophisticated technology required for the manufacture of ic chips yes these are disadvantages of third generation so i'm done with third generation computer thanks for watching allah hafiz